guys, this is a video currently at least three days in the making. I've actually been on this very beach here, fishing the stretch of water three times this week with really not much success. Between a variety of factors, an upwelling on Wednesday, which brought the water temps to 60 degrees, plus the fact I was mostly targeting other species here in the wash to no success, I really have not given Fluke my full focus here in the surf, but that's what we're gonna be doing today, obviously. We got a little bucktail tied on right now, and my confidence was actually pretty high at the start of this week, but after fishing here for pretty much three days in a row, I uh, definitely lost a bit of confidence in how good the bike could be. But today we're gonna do things a little bit different. I've been throwing the bucktail around around 10 o'clock, right when the sun gets nice and bright. We're starting off early, as you can tell right now. I mean, we just had a little bit of fog roll in, but we had a decent sunrise right over there. The time check is 6.05. I've been up since four. This is like my fourth day in a row of uh, sub four hours of sleep. We're barely hanging in there, but I'm feeling confident we're gonna catch some fish this morning. And it is a Saturday, so if we don't catch anything this morning, then we really gotta get out of here. It's gonna get absolutely mobbed in about three to four hours. So I don't wanna hang around here too long. I just wanna throw around this bucktail, snag a couple fluke hopefully. Just do some catch and release today because I really don't need to keep any more fish after the tuna trip we had a couple days ago. So uh, yeah, that's the game plan guys. We have some gorgeous conditions, as you can tell. I mean, the ocean is flat calm, pretty much. We're gonna be fishing the incoming tide, so it's just gonna keep getting flat throughout the day. We have not a single breeze in the air. That's why it's pretty foggy out here. Can't see much, but uh, hey, a lot of times in the fog, the fish bite good. Let's start making a couple casts, add a couple fluke, hopefully. Let's just jump right into it. Well, good morning on the GoPro, guys. We're gonna be starting off a little bit of a twist this morning. A little 3 8 ounce SNS white bucktail, my go to for the surf pretty much. But uh, throwing on a little nuke chicken gulp right here, four inch swimming mullet model. And uh, I really do like this color a lot. A little green, a little red, a little white. So a little Christmas combo heading out here, but let's see what we can do. Pairing this on our 2500 Dio BG 76 Mojo Inshore. Really a phenomenal setup for fishing the beach. And it does not break the bank at all either. I mean, this whole setup maybe is like $300, 320 or something. 120 for the reel, maybe 180, uh, 200 for the rod. But yeah, really, really nice, really fun setup. It's really light. So if we catch a couple fluke, it'll definitely be entertaining. And uh, yeah, let's start making a couple casts here. All right, first cast of the day, headed out. Still got a broken hand, a couple of days left in this splint, but we're definitely making the most of it. We've been fishing literally six days in a row this week. Oh, that water's a little chilly. All right, so initial thoughts, visibility looks pretty good in the water. I mean, we have no sun to really judge, but looks pretty good. We got like that glacial blue color, but we do have, the water temperature feels maybe only upper 60s, 68, 69 degrees. Same as it was yesterday. And Wednesday, it was probably upper 50s, low 60s. So could it be pushing 70 right now, but it's really not, not incredibly warm water temp for the middle of July. It'll be interesting to see how this bite goes. Yesterday, I only had one fish in like two hours with a couple other little bites. But again, that was in the middle of the day, pretty much. Just not my, my favorite time to be out doing this, jigging the surf. Hoping to get on a nice hot bite, nice and early this morning and uh, be back home by mid-morning before the beach gets absolutely swamped by all the Saturday beach goers. And before we start dragging things onto the sand, guys, if you just do me a quick favor, hit that like button, hit the subscribe button. I really do appreciate both those things. Um, the past 28 days have been the best ever on my channel. We got a record 36,000 views, like 320 new subs. So thank you all for tuning in. I appreciate all the new views. And uh, just hit that like button, hit the subscribe button. It really means a lot to me and to the YouTube algorithm, which is almighty nowadays. Let's jig up some fluke. We've got miles upon miles to walk, so. Let's start patrolling the beach. See if we can find a little bit of a bite here. Phew! There we are. There's a fish. Oh yeah. Oh, they exist. They exist. A little micro fluke, probably. Not feel big. This guy feels micro. Oh my God, he's gotta be like four inches. Jesus. <laughs> hey, a fluke is a fluke. 
We do not discriminate on this channel. Little it. flounder. Oh, too small. I gotta let him go. Yeah, only I'm gonna take a picture and uh, put it back. Yeah, you gotta. You want a phone and take a picture? I, I gotta put it in my phone. All right, here, I'll hold it. Homie wants a picture. All right. Thank yep. You. You're welcome. All right, see you, dude. Paparazzi is out early this morning. That's not bad. Like 10th cast, 10th cast. Only got one hand, but uh, yeah. Yesterday when I was out midday, we caught one 16 incher on our second cast, which I thought was gonna be awesome. I thought we were gonna put up some wilt numbers, but it ended up not turning out that way and being a complete grind. So we'll take it. I just had like a seven incher. <laughs> yeah. I've only made like 10 casts though. They're around for sure. There we are. Little guy. Oh, it just popped off. <laughs> that was like a three incher right there. So the fog really moved in guys. We had sun for like probably three tenths of a blink. And now it literally looks like I, I don't know what it looks like. It looks like fog. The fog is actually probably my favorite condition to fish, especially when coupled with really light or zero winds, because I mean, it is absolutely perfect for these fish right now. They're lured into a false sense of security, thinking that they can just pretty much hunt whatever they want. The fish think they have an advantage. They don't really know that we're out here on the other end with a little gold bucktail, so. We're gonna stick this out for a couple more casts. We walked like 2,000 steps so far, probably around half to half a mile, three quarters of a mile. So we've already covered quite a bit of distance for just two fish. So that just might be the name of the game today. You get lucky a couple times here and there, but just gotta cover distance. So not waste any time. Let's get out there. Boom, first real fish of the day. Little 16 inch, send her back. Awesome, so 16 inches. They just keep her in Island Beach State Park when we're not there. But uh, yeah, solid fish. Number two, it's like we're shooting two for four right now. Four bites, two fish. Let's get back out there. Woo. Hopefully the GoPro caught that last fish. I didn't see it register on the camera, so could be a little sketch, but 16 on the board. Love it. Oh, I'll just have one right there. Dang it, just have one right there. Next cast. All right. Let's see, next, next cast. It's actually incredibly foggy. I cannot even see like the incoming swells. Oh my God, dude, we just lost another one. They're here though, they're stacked. That's the third cast in a row with a bite. Oh. The fluke are in town and they're hungry. First gulp tail donated. Surprised it took so long. It's been about, I don't even know, two hours. Nuke chicken. So with that guy terminated, we're gonna switch it up a little bit. A little chartreuse gold, freshly scented. Send her out there. All right, every cast bite, maybe, maybe. There we are, got him, got him, got him. Oh my God, they guys gotta be micro fish. Dude. How am I losing everyone? I don't get this. Wilt numbers on missed hook sets. Not the wilt numbers I want, man. Come on, I finally found a school of fish and they won't freaking stay glued. I've only been standing here for an hour and a half. That's a cow nose ray. Right. What? Right. Do they, uh, no. Probably the biggest thing you'll catch out here now. Let me grab the leader for you. Watch out. Go <laughs> <laughs> on him. Oh, he snapped you off? Yeah. Ah, that sucks. Good luck, man. Yeah. <laughs> 
<laughs> Sorry about that. something big here oh I'm gonna get spooled dude definitely gonna get spooled fifteen pound braid Jesus come on back come on you oh god that's not what I not what I signed up for no don't spool me mega mega Oh, he's gonna spool me. He's gonna spool me. That's gonna end the day for sure. Come on, come on, this way. This way. This way, fish. 2500 reel, 76. Light, 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 light gear. Turn him finally, I think. Oh my god, look at that rod bend. Jesus. Huge fish on the light tackle in the surf. Giant. Ginormous. Probably about 10 minutes in now. GoPro just died, but was able to throw a new battery in there. Cause we're not making much headway. This drag is locked down. He is not stopping anytime soon. Fun fight on the light tackle though. Mega, mega cow nose ray is almost a guarantee what this is. But you never know until we get it in, so. Come on, dude, give up already. Surprised nothing's broken yet. Cross my fingers. <laughs> Rod is not meant for this. We have 15 pound braid on. That's broken on wind knots earlier. I can't believe this guy's still glued. But we got our pliers. We're ready to let this guy go. Come this way, dude. Every time I think I'm gaining, he just takes more. Come on, dude. It's got a pump on him. Line's a little tight. Oh, this drag is burnt, dude. Right here, bud, in the wave, in the wave. Just need to get him on the sand, I can get the pliers to him. Literally have no control on this fish, just too heavy. I want to snap him off, but I also want this bucktail back. And I fought him long enough, might as well get him in the land. Here he is, in the wave. I hooked him right in the face. Just right in the wing, not in the tail. All right, we got him. All right. Come here, yo. Come on. There we go. 
giant cow nose bread. See you, bud. Woo. Sick. There we go. That'll be any fluke fight any day. Broken hand and all. We're able to wrestle that guy for literally like 30 minutes probably we had him there. And uh, yeah, that'll blow any 12 inch fluke out of the water. I'll take it. Now I got a clickbait video for you guys. So like and subscribe, you know the drill. Sick dude, 2,500 size reel, 7.6 Mojo inshore light. This thing is rated six to 14 pounds, one eighth to one half of an ounce. So that guy was a little more than an eighth of an ounce probably around 40 pounds or so. Jersey 40 for you. Phew. Game plan now, we haven't had any fluke bites in about an hour and a half. I think it's like 9.30 or so. Last fish we caught was in that really frustrating hole and uh, we just really could not produce. So we really have not been able to produce since then at all. So two fluke on the board, one giant cow nose ray. They are pretty common here and I just got unlucky enough to snag one of them. But uh, what we're gonna do for the next hour, maybe two hours, just gonna continue north. Um, keep trying to try for some fluke, maybe catch a nice fluke. Hopefully no more rays because I'm absolutely sauced. Whew. You can actually see, probably not on the GoPro, but there's about like a hundred more rays where that came from. Just breaking water on the surface back there. Not fun. And on that note, folks, we're actually going to wrap up the video here. Um, I just gave it about another hour of casts without even a sniff or a lick or anything. Like I said, I've actually been fishing six days in a row. This is my third day that I've been here this week. So I'm fully, fully fatigued. It's now like 11.30. I've been awake since four o'clock for the past six days. And uh, yeah, just running on like negative sleep. So I don't want to burn myself out too much. Although, I mean, I'm living the life right now, fishing every day. You can't beat that. But uh, all in all, I mean, today was all right. Not, not a spectacular day. Thankfully, I was able to get a video out literally just because of that cow nose ray because he put up such a sick fight on the beach. I mean, light tackle versus cow nose ray is always an interesting time. And that's all I'm here for is just to entertain you guys. With a little bit of info, a little bit of tips and tricks mixed in. But uh, on the fluke bite, it was just really, really slow. I don't really understand why. I mean, we have literally the most ideal conditions you can ask for. We have zero wind, literally zero wind. We have a high tide, clear water, warm water, and it's been like this for days. So there's no reason why they shouldn't be biting. Um, I mean, that's really just a head scratcher. I just can't figure out why, why we didn't really catch so many fish. We had two fish, 116. Then we had a, a, a really productive hole back there that we just couldn't really land any fish, probably because they were all really, really, really short fish. But, uh, yeah, on that note, folks, if you guys could hit that like button, hit the subscribe button. Said in the beginning, I really appreciate all the support. And doing those little things really helps the channel grow. And uh, that's really what I'm trying to do is just grow the channel. Get out here as much as possible. Make some cooler and cooler videos for you guys each time. Thanks for tuning in, everybody. I'll see you in the next one. Remember, never end the send. Phew!